Oh my, oh my god. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolic. Are you serious? I didn't, I didn't notice that there are two separate things. Oh, this whole time I was thinking, oh, I'm supposed to stick a card in the door to stop the lock from going in. But this whole time, I actually needed the lock to close. Whatever. I just need the lock to close. And then we use the card to go in there. You see, I thought we were just going to put the card here. Uh, and somehow it would just magically flow. And then when he closes the door, the lock won't lock in. And then we take, open the door, get the lock, and then stick the... It's, I mean, open the door, get the card, and stick the card in there. But obviously, no, that's not what happens. This is how you do it. Yeah, open the door. Open the door, Manny. Come on. Finally, Manny. Now, let us get our card out. Get our card out. Come on, Manny. I know you can do it. The bread of the dead. Well, I know you can do it, Manny. There it is. And then we just stick it in here. Manny, go back. Manny, just stick it in there. Now, give a message. Oh, and there is a message for us. Hmm. Too much air pressure. Uh, are you serious, Manny? Manny, don't do this to me, Manny. What now? What could, what could I possibly need now? Manny. Manny, Manny. You make things five steps harder than they actually need to be. Okay, wow. Okay, so I looked at, I looked at the thing on my phone real quick. Uh, this is something I would have never got. This is something I would have literally never have gotten unless I looked it up. So I'm actually pretty glad that I did this right here. This is a hole punch. I've looked at this a million times. I just never noticed that it was a hole punch. I thought it was just like paper. I thought it was just something with a lot of paper around it. Apparently, you're supposed to use your deck of cards with the hole punch, and then it'll use give you one card with a hole in it, and that one card with a hole won't get any pressure. Because there's holes. So yeah, I would have never have gotten this unless I looked up in that tutorial. So. Cards, yeah. Well, Manny, I, couldn't play this card I need here. the help for the tutorial. But hey, we finally got. We finally make some. This is the wrong room, isn't it? Yeah, this is the wrong. You think that by now I'd know which one's the right way and which one's the wrong way, but apparently I still don't. That was impossible. That was legitimately impossible. Uh, well, not impossible, but I was just being a goddamn idiot. I couldn't figure out anything. I don't know why you don't just open it and you stick your hand in there, Manny. And then when the tube comes, you pull it out with your hand. Why do you have to use a card? But it has to be a puzzle. It has to be a puzzle, or else it's not worth it. And there, it, it'll stay in there. So he found the client, Mercedes Colomar. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh yeah, and it's even better company now. Hop in. Bueno. 
Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No. But there's still a chance you could save me. Alright, here I am with 40 minutes into the episode. Uh, that remember, you remember that puzzle I solved 20 minutes ago? Yeah, well, I, I had to do something 20 minutes later. Now, 40 minutes into the recording. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, at this point, everything's a whole mess. I'm pretty much going to be recording by 16 minutes by the time the episode's actually done. Uh, so, yeah. But Gladys himself, the speed demon, messed, not messed our car, but he improved our car to the absolute max. And we were able to get this Mercedes Colomar, our saint, before Domino. But I'm not sure why he's asking if you're sure about it. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be able to be shown on bone. Wherever you guys put my skin. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything about you? It's, does she have like a really low file? Let me, let me watch the cutscene again real quick. I think she has like a low, low, low. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Uh, did you kill much did when you, you was alive? Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Uh, shoplifter. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. oh. Cheating your taxes. Cheated that's that. That's something taxes. that a lot of people like to do. I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Right. There's nothing wrong with it. Why does she have such a bad score? Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. Well, there's no skin. There's no skin I was about to say that, too. I guess you'll just have to trust me, then. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Hmm. I mean, this, Me this is nothing wrong with Oh, it. no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. All right, give me something. Give me something about yourself that's bad. Come on, give me some dirt. Work with me, Mechi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. All right, what about littering? Everyone litters, I think. Click it. Click it. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Uh, not even a tinty bit of killing. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Alright, all right, she has a bad thing, but she's done nothing wrong. Right, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to... I think if you visit that I'll dialogue option with her. Stop looking down there, Manny. Walk. Let's see if we can go talk to the boss. I'm sorry I let you go. Oh, it's man. okay. It's okay. Okay. Ava, I need to talk with uh I need to talk with Don. Oh. No, he's coming hey, to me and so. in my office. company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. 
That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! <laughs> Alright, so the game crashed. Yeah, I meant to make the recording that 40 minute episode. I guess I couldn't handle it being 40 minutes. So. Here I am. I had to redo it because the last time I saved was about two episodes ago. So I had to do all of that again. Or at least one episode again? I don't know. It was a few episodes ago. But now I'm in here in Glottis' shed. I'm only going to record this for 10 minutes because I decided to take the five, the one to two minutes from the uh, beginning, three minutes in the middle, five minutes at the end of the last episode. So yeah, I'm going to record for 10 minutes. What is this? Ooh, ick. What is that? It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Auto body filler? I don't know what that is. I don't see anyone out there. Not Can we break? Up, let's break the. Uh, let's break the window. Let's break. Let's break everything. Grab one of these sticks and these things, and let's just break a box. Come on, man, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's see if Gladys will open the door for us. Ooh, there's someone there. So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Uh, who's there? Get me out of here. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. Get cracked, flunky. I don't need any chatter right now. Uh, who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Oh yeah, well, God. I'm me now, so get lost. Is this some time travel? I should remember this, though. If it is time travel, uh, get me out of here. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. What are they going to do with me? What are they gonna do to me? I don't want to alarm you, Agent Calavera, but have you ever seen a man sprouted? Sprouted? What was that? No, I don't want to go to those parties anymore. <laughs> that makes it sound really weird. Yes, I think I was during pledge. It was during yes, I saw a boxer get a pretty bad cauliflower air once. What do you mean sprouted? Because all these other ones are just joke mean, responses. Sprouted? I don't want a real response. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you vain with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes. Leaving you nothing but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. Are you done? Yes. No, I've never seen that. That sounds like... Because because skeletons have calcium, obviously, if you don't if you don't know that. Uh, but that sounds like they're just using the... There's something that makes the bones grow plants really quickly. And it's supposed to kill them, I guess? Um... Tell me, Tell me that sprouting story. Oh no! It's not a bedtime. There's nothing more horrible. It's deadly sting. Oh my god! I, I don't want to hear this again. And leaving. I love that story. Okay. I'm thinking of I'm getting thinking out, and getting getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. No, I'm not loyal to this company. They, they keep giving Domino all the good cases. They're leaving me in the dust. I, I got something they can stick in their fold. My loyalty is still the, to the DLT. The DLT runs a crooked game, and I intend to the prove DLT it. Runs a crooked game. Yeah, yeah these guys are. You would do that. That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I don't care. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Ah, I'm a raging oh, maniac. You are an enemy of the Department of Death. I don't care. Welcome to the club. Oh, I get to join the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. 
We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what, exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Man, I I knew that uh, I knew that goddamn thing was something important. Oh, I accidentally walked out. Okay, I did not want to walk out. I knew that this was something important. Also, this is open now. We can talk to him at any time. I'm actually gonna talk to him right now. Agent Calavera here. Yeah, I'm already calling myself Agent Calavera because I know. I was meant to be part of this situation. Also, it's probably the only thing that's gonna ever let me get forward in the game, so I have to do it. Yeah. Alright, come on, man. Let's get down there. Yeah, Vault over here. This guy. And that's the secretary from upstairs. What is this? It's a slide projector. Looks like they're. Manuel, I was looking at that. Oh, sorry. Looks like they're... You don't want to walk in here and let the door open, you stupid twat. Why? You should close the door before you start recording. Moral of the story is we can have a better time this year. All right. This is the secretary from upstairs. She's acting. So you're not really she a actually works for the. I'm a spy, man. Oh, she's a spy. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Uh, any messages for me? God damn, I keep putting my hand on the cord for my mic and it just pulls it across. But Ava, you gotta get out of town. They're gonna sprout me. Does Copal know where you are? Does Copal know where you are? Doesn't Copal wonder where you are? Don and Domino were both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Uh -huh. hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Uh... Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access us without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. But if I go back in there, I'll get sprouted. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. So We're gonna knock them out of my skull and let me go free. <laughs> any message for me? How long have you been a spy? What are you? What are you working on there? What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador is right. We need good old-fashioned home homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. Wow, it's a small organization. You have any messages, any messages for, me? for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already again. Oh. I, I don't even know how long you've been a spy for. Good fight, babe. What about Manuel? Open the door, Sal. I've got places to go. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? Do you know something I don't know? Do you know something I don't know? Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes, 
My last client in particular, Mitch. Whoa. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hero. Look at that. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. The bird's gonna throw a nuke into a building. Is this gonna be this building that we're right under? Because I don't know if I want to still be here when that nuke goes off. Uh, maybe just a missile. It doesn't have to be a nuke. Well, let's see. Uh, open the door, so I've got places to go. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? What would they do with the tickets? They probably sell them. What they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, man. Yeah, they sell them. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. So, your tickets automatically given to you when you die? To say given to you. Well, not like physically given to you, but it's physically existed here. And only when people with good records come in, they can take that ticket from them. So these tickets aren't printed out. They're made when a soul comes to the land of the dead somewhere, if here somewhere, and then you give those tickets to them uh, instead of it just appearing with them and then giving it to you. Which is a really weird and messed up system, but okay, uh, anything to make the game better. Uh, but money's not important here. We all just want out. But money's not important here. Yeah, we just want to go to heaven. We all just want out. You want to get out, Monday, and so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld, and for that, you need money. Even in death, you gotta work your butt off. So if you died from like. If you died from overworking yourself, and when you come down here and you figure out you still have to work, uh, you're just gonna die again. Uh, what do you want from me? Like, okay, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Okay, I know. I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. And I'll be the messenger. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Alright, we gotta go get some stupid eggs. What's behind this door? Nothing. It won't Nothing budge. Else. It opens for members of the LSA. Here we are, members of the LSA. You're saying we have to just get eggs first and then we'll become like an official member? Alright, well, I guess I can keep the rest for the next episode. So, anyway, guys, if you like that video, leave a like below and comment. I don't know. Comment that I'm not funny. You, 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 you retard. You're not funny at all. Stop making videos and go back to doing high school or whatever. You can comment all that kind of stuff. I, I wouldn't mind. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. Uh, hopefully. 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 I don't know what I'm saying hopefully for. Why am I saying hopefully? Ho hopefully it's when I get a better computer. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll see you guys next video I make. Bye.